what we always want to do is tie the investments that you own back to your financial plan. And when I say the word financial plan, kind of like a budget, maybe that's something that you know in theory is a really good thing, but you don't actually have a financial plan. Meaning that we have goals to know what we're funding, where our money's going, are we on track for retirement? Do we have the money that we need? Do we have enough money? Is our, working, is our money working as hard as we need it to be? Then how do those investments help you achieve the things you want to do? Like take vacation, spend time with your family, um, create experiences, whatever money means to you, your values, you know, what is wealth? What is wealth to you? Wealth to you may be completely different than what wealth means to me. Wealth and money are not the same thing. Money is a tool. Money is a thing that helps you do the things that you're saying wealth is. Wealth to you may be your kids. It may be your marriage. It may be your job. It may be supporting your community. It may be something, whatever that thing is. Well, then your financial plan should help you understand what is this all for? What are we working towards? If you are working so you can retire someday, well then let's make sure your money's working as hard as you are, whether that's saving money on time, taxes, expenses, investing well, depending on how long your window is to retirement, whether it's two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years and beyond, every single person is gonna have a different financial plan because we're all different people. We have different upbringings, different experiences, different attitudes towards money. Some of us are married, some of us are not, some of us have kids. So there can't be a blank slate financial plan for every person. So we want to review our budget. We want to review our contributions. We want to review our investments and make sure we're not just doing stuff, but that everything has a purpose, right? And then just some of the other things. Let's make sure our beneficiaries are up to date. Uh, we all have experienced people that have uh, gone too soon, have lost their lives, uh, whether it's due to COVID or other things. Just life sometimes is really unfair and time is the same. We all have the same amount of time and life can catch up to us super quick. So let's make sure that all of our accounts have beneficiaries, that those beneficiaries are up to date to make sure it's the appropriate people that if God forbid something should ever happen to you, money goes to the people you want it to go to. So let's make a plan. Right? I think if 2020 gave us all a blank slate to say life can just quickly go beyond our control. Uh, as much as we thought we were in control, 2020 hit and we realized there's a lot of stuff we can't control. Can't control our job, can't control the market, can't control the economy, the government, all this stuff. But if 2020 did anything, I think it all gave us the ability to hit reset and really say, what is all this stuff for? Because if your health can go, if your mind can decline, if things can happen to you, well, then what are, what are we accumulating all this stuff, all this money for if we can't use it? So while we can use it, let's make sure that there's a plan, that there's a purpose, that we feel like we're making momentum. Uh, because as human beings, we're all incredible. When we feel like our life is out of disarray, when we feel like the pieces are all over the place, we can feel overwhelmed. We can feel anxious. And even though you could have the greatest job in the world, if your money and finance isn't staying step for step, you can feel lost, you can feel broken, you can feel empty how much more, whether it's your health, whether it's your money, whether it's your mind, when you start thinking positively, when you're encouraged, when you're inspired, when you feel like there's a plan to every day, when you know exactly what you have to do along the step, it just does something to your psyche. Serotonin kicks in your mind, you feel happier, you feel like you're inspired, you feel like you're encouraged. These are all great things. Because we are a fee-only financial planning company, meaning that all of our planners and staff are on salary. We've reduced conflicts of interest across the board. We are also investment fiduciary over a free, uh, free first appointment to understand what help can look like. And if we believe that financial planning can help, we have different programs that we have created, regardless of where you are in your journey, uh, to help you achieve the things you're trying to do. So you're always going to leave understanding what the cost is and what you can expect. So that's just if you're struggling to say, I don't know how to do some of this stuff, just no help is available. Obviously, there is a cost to getting help, but we're going to help you understand exactly what that is. Because as a fiduciary, uh, we have to be able to justify, could planning help you do the things you want to do?